Hey everybody, welcome. I know I look kind of weird at this angle. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to show you my chair. And yes, oh hey Tallulah, welcome to the video. This is the chair that I painted yesterday and I'm sitting on it. Welcome, my name is Donna with Do Dots and Designs and I couldn't wait to get out of the studio. I've been painting all day and I couldn't wait to get back in the house so that I could show you and finish up and I've already did a lot of work on the chair since I got off work and came in the house, but I wanted to show you what I did. Last night, we took this pink, it was pink chair, and I painted it with a chalky type paint. And if you remember the steps, if you went back and looked at the live, um, I took a water bottle first and I spray misted the fabric before I painted it with the chalky type paint, and that is to open up the nap of the fabric so that the paint will adhere to the fibers and stick to it. After that, I applied a chalky type paint, and the paint that I used is the PIY Furniture Paint. This is the, the brand that I carry. And I just happened to have some gray that I had left over, so I went ahead and painted the whole chair gray. And I painted the arms, the legs, everything completely gray. Um, after that was dry and I left it overnight to dry, uh, when I came in this afternoon, of course it's really hot here in Texas so everything dries really quickly, I went out to the studio to get some more paint. And I was looking through some colors because I wasn't totally happy with just the gray, it was kind of boring and it needed something else so I found another color and I'll show you what I used. I used a color called Burlap and if you can see there's a difference in the color. It's a little darker, it's kind of like a burlap, and then the rest of it is gray. But let me show you what I did. Um, I went a, a step further, I don't know if you remember last night, we were talking about blending some paints on fabric, just like you do on furniture. You can do the same thing. You can blend with fabrics just like you do your furniture. And let me show you. Y'all don't laugh at me, I'm gonna take this chair up and put it up to where you can see it, but I'm gonna show you what I did. Look at the difference in the color on this chair. What I did was went in, after the gray was still wet, I went in with the burlap and painted in between, and then I actually took a dry brush and the spray bottle, and I went back and misted it and then kind of blended it in so that it, it gives it appearance of kind of a faded look. And you can't see it up close, and none of the lives are really hard to see different colors, but it's a beautiful color, and I've got Lots of plans and ideas, even maybe some gold, maybe some uh, gold around the trim. But after it was dry, after I painted everything, it sat outside and it dried, I took a 220 grit sandpaper and I've sanded the whole chair down. And let me tell you, you can't get any smoother than this with fabric. After it was painted, it was not very smooth. It was actually kind of rough to feel, and that's the way I remember doing my last chair, but I, like I said, I didn't use this brand of paint. I used my own that I mixed. This is by far smoother than any paint I've ever used on fabric, and it's beautiful. So, I, I went ahead and distressed with a wet sponge, and let me show you how you can do that. Jeez, uh, I know where my sponge went. Anyway. I painted the whole thing, so I wanted a little bit of distressing on the arm, so I went with my um, scrubber. The PIY paint, actually you can distress with water, and what you do is get one of the little scrubby pot scrubbers that you can get at Walmart that has like a scrubber side and a sponge side, you wet that, and then you just lightly go over the areas you want to distress, and then you wipe it off, and that gives you a beautiful distress with no sanding. So that was a bonus. I was super excited about that. So now we're to the point of finishing it. We have a lot of options here, guys. We need to wax. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a clear wax over the whole piece. And I'm thinking, seriously, I want this to look a little older, especially around the areas where you touch. You know how fabric kind of gets kind of dirty in certain areas when you touch? I know that sounds crazy, I just painted this and I made it look all brand new and now I want to kind of make it look dirty again. But I'm thinking I'm going to take some of the dark wax and probably go around the piping and some areas where your legs hit and kind of make it a little more aged looking and then come back with maybe some gold and maybe go around some of the piping too. But let me show you how easy it is to wax this. It is the same way as you wax furniture, just the exact same way. And I just 
I am super excited. I can't tell you guys how excited I am about this chair. I never dreamed it would turn out this good. I want to paint a sofa now. You know how I get. If you don't know me, once I get on something, I get on a kick. It's like when I first got my piano, it was like, i got to paint a piano. i got to paint a piano. That was like the biggest thing I've ever painted. And now I've painted chairs. I'm like, i got to paint a sofa. i got to paint a sofa. Guess what? I know where the sofas are at. They're at the ReStore, and they're really cheap, if not free. I bet I could find one on the side of the road and paint it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Let me see if there's any comments. I'm sorry. I'm a little further away. Danielle's on. Hey, Danielle. Thanks for joining. Tammy. Hey, friend, girl. How are you? Lori's on. Hi. Good, good. I'm so excited. All right. Well, let's get started. I'm going to wax. I'm going to show you when you wax. If you wax furniture before and you painted and then you wax over your paint, you'll notice that there's a little color uh, difference after you wax it. It does the same thing with this. It kind of deepens it and darkens it and, you, and it just makes it a beautiful color. So let me get my wax. And what I'm using is a PIY wax. It is a, uh, a soft wax, and I have my wax brush that I'm using. Hey, Christy, how are you? I make you smile. <laughs> well, I've never heard that one before, but okay. Good, I'm glad. I'm, we need to be happy. Everybody needs to be happy. And painting furniture is happy, guys. This is a pure happiness. I was so tired today after painting. You know, I do custom painting for the public, and have this huge hutch I'm working on, and I'm like, oh, I just need to get finished with this. I'm just I'm so tired. And then I come in and I see this chair, and it's like instant. I'm like, I've got energy. This time to paint. So I'm excited. So let's get started with the wax. What you do, you don't need a lot of wax. You just put a tiny bit on your brush, and just like with with your uh, with your furniture, start with a circular motion. I'm gonna do sections. I don't know if you can see that darkening. Yes, you can. See how beautiful and dark that is? Looks just like burlap. And I'm super pleased that the fabric had a pattern to it. And you can actually see the little dots. It's hard for you to see, but you can see the little dots that were actually in the, the fabric itself. So it's brought everything out. It actually is one color, but it has texture to it, which I think is beautiful. And this wax is by far probably the easiest wax I've ever used. It's super soft. It doesn't take much. You just need a little bit to cover that chalky type paint to seal it. And once I've waxed this and it dries, I'll go back with a soft cloth and I'll buff it just like I do my furniture. And it'll be a beautiful leather feeling piece of furniture. And it's easy to see where you put the wax. You would think it would be kind of hard to see, but it has a little shine to it. And also you can actually feel it. If you can't remember where you wax your piece, just run your finger over it and usually you can feel it. I'm loving the way this is looking. I can hardly wait to get the whole thing waxed because I want to get my rub and buff out and I want to play with the gold and do some little accents on here. Do you guys get excited when you find a project that you haven't done and it's really turning out well? I'm like a little kid in a candy store waxing this chair. You would think it wouldn't be a big deal, but here it is, 8 o'clock at night in Texas, and I'm waxing furniture still. Let's talk a little bit, while I'm waxing this, let's talk a little bit about the paint. Surely everyone knows that, you know, if you find a chair that you're going to be doing this with, it needs to be in decent shape. It can't have big tears and holes in it because paint's not going to, reco paint's not going to uh, repair any of that dog urine, cat urine, those kind of things. Some, some furniture, if the fabric is very, very dirty and greasy and oily, it's not, the paint's not gonna stick. So you want to have something that's relatively in good shape. Just something that you don't like in color anymore is really what you need. So if you've got a chair at home that has good structure and good bones, but it just is not the color, it doesn't match your decor anymore, before you throw it out or give it to the Goodwill or, or sell it, 
consider painting it. It's, I tell you, it's, it's not hard. You've seen me start this last night, and I've only had maybe a couple of hours put into this. It's not like I've spent a lot of time on it. over the wood too but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to apply on the fabric itself I had thought possibly that I might do like a pattern of French grains uh, uh, French uh, uh, what's that called this is a French grain stripe, something like that, down here. And I still might do that. I, I still can do that. Even with the wax, I can probably paint over that. Because I'm not putting a lot of wax on, guys. This is not much at all. I'm just, you can see I'm just barely dabbing in here. Not very, very little. Very tiny amount. wax is it dries really quickly. It's not something you have to wait a long time. Yeah, the grain stripe would be lovely. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards that. I don't know. Just depends on how it looks when I put the gold trim on it, you know. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You know, if I do the gold around it and I decide that I don't like it, I paint over it. This is a this is a great way to repurpose and recycle, but it's also a great way to play and. You know, play with some of your techniques on this. You know, it's not going to hurt anything. It's not like it's a piece of furniture. But you can always paint over it. wax from PIY smells heavenly. You know, most waxes don't always smell good. This has the sweetest aroma. I don't know how, I don't know how else to say. It's kind of a sweet, flowery smell. I, my husband always knows when I'm waxing because he'll come out to the studio and he's like, oh, she's waxing again. I smell it. <laughs> really pretty uh, loud pillow and maybe put on the chair that's that's how I color I do everything neutral and then I add color to it that way I can change it but even just painting this a beautiful color would surely brighten up any room gosh this would make a good office desk you know 
just an occasional, uh, not office desk, office chair, um, just a great occasional chair, a chair for your bedroom just to sit beside your bed, to, you know, to sit on to put your shoes on or something, just a really great chair. Okay, let me wax the front of this. already dry. Well guys, it, it looks like leather. Seriously. Wanda, Eva, hi Eva. Yeah, thank you. It does, and it feels awesome too. Tammy, no, I'm not a Southpaw. Facebook reverses everything and makes it look backwards. So, I, I know, it's kind of weird. I'm not left-handed. <laughs> okay. Let me get a cloth, and I'm going to buff this a little bit and see what it does. You know, when you buff wax on a piece of furniture, it actually shines. I don't know if this will shine. I'm assuming it probably will do similar to that. So hang on. Let me get a cotton cloth real quick. Just a plain colored chair. Smooth, guys. That is it. All right. Any questions? Any questions on painting fabric? Um, if not, I'm going to go ahead and do some more work. I'm going to get my rub and buff out. Let me show you what I'm going to use. Unless you want me to do it and show you how I'm going to do it. Eva says uh, it only one coat of paint and then wax. No, Eva actually took two coats of paint. I put the first coat of paint on last night. I let it set overnight and dry because remember I take the, the sprayer with the water and I wet the fabric first before I paint it so the paint absorbs into the fabric. And then today I came back with a second coat. And I put it outside and it dried really quick because it was like 100 degrees. So that was easy. But I have, yes, Cheryl, it's a chalky type paint. It's actually the PIY 
furniture paint that I'm a brand ambassador for and I will put a link in uh, the feed here when we get done with the video so you can go and look at it too. Um, they also sell chalk paint powder that you can mix with your own paint as well and that also is a really good product too. But what I'm going to do, I'm kind of scared to mess it up now. You guys ever get like that? You kind of get to the point to where now you're to the next step and you have this vision in your head but you don't want to put it on there. What I'm going to do is use this rub and buff. Can you see that? I know it's kind of, yeah, it's called rub and buff. It's called Grecian Gold and it's a metallic wax. It's actually like a gilding wax. And what I'll do is take it with my finger and I'll rub it and I'm gonna go around all of the piping areas and just kind of hit it with a little bit of gold just to kind of accident a little bit, just to, to give it a little something different. If I don't like it, I'll paint over it. <laughs> I don't know. You know I'm a gold girl, I love gold. So I thought this was pretty with the burlap and then the gray and the distressed look. I'll add a little gold to it. I don't know. I may put a stencil here. I may do a stripe. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll probably sleep on it tonight and do it tomorrow. But I should have this finished by tomorrow night and post a picture for you guys with a completed project and just show you how easy this is to actually paint. Like I said, I've only spent a few hours painting this. It wasn't like a hard, hard project. It was actually very simple. You don't have to worry about the brush strokes when you're painting because you're actually just kind of smooching it in there. You're trying to get it into the fibers. Um, if you're interested, go back on my Facebook page. I had a live that I did last night from start till now. So you can go back and review that process of how I started it and, and how I got to this. But um, any other questions? If not, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do the, the wax and then I will post a picture tomorrow night to show you the finished product. So. Thanks guys for joining me. This is fun. I can't wait to see if you guys paint your chair. I hope you do. Have fun. Have a good night.